the bat chase you in here, Cammy? Heard nine saved your ass again. You think LaCroix would have stopped counting as many long enough to get your back, Jack? Cammy, you'd have a whole lot less above your neck if it hadn't been for Nines calling the prince out in that courtroom. Shit. Looks like things worked out for LaCroix anyway. Got himself a new errand boy on this. Oh, ho, ho. you want to know what my problem is? All right, I'll tell you what my problem is. You ready? You are my goddamn problem. Anyone who would lay it down for some cape in an ivory tower deserves what they get. Cape, Kimmy. Camarilla elders? The ones that have been around so long they think candlelight's a keen invention? You're doing their dirty work and you don't even know it. Ah, oh, that's real. Let me put it in perspective for you. The Camarilla claims every kindred part of the organization regardless. You do something they don't like, well, you're Camarilla, so you get punished under their laws. Like it or not. I'm Damsel, dead mother of these mothers, and one pissed bitch sees the floor we do. <sighs> don't even joke about bad blood at a time like this. Don't you know we've got a plague bearer around here? A plague bearer's a fool that doesn't care who they feed from. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. We can't get sick, but the kind can. And kindred that feed on them start spreading disease. And if it's sick, it's an epidemic. CDC's in town as we speak. If someone puts together two and two as to the real cause of an outbreak of bloodborne diseases, guess what happens? So the plague bearer's gotta be found and put down. If the Camarilla really gives a damn, they'll help us out. One of our boy's ghouls, name's Paul, lives nearby in the Skyline Apartments. Been a stranger lately. Looked like death last time he was here. Said he didn't get bit, but maybe you can get more info out of him. Wait, if Paul's not talking, you might want to start questioning the homeless pot. So many have been dying lately that it takes the city a few days to pick up the bodies. What do you want? Yeah? Well, I'd feel a lot more like talking if you gave me a few bucks, you know? How about a 20 to lubricate the old vocal cords? Okay. I mean, I don't know too much about nothing, but I know that Tin Can Bill's been telling some crazy stories about how he's got sick and all. Something about a monster or some such. You can usually find him down in his alleyway, just across from that bar nearby. there, huh? Old Bill can't see too good these days. Is, is that you, Fred? I ain't got no booze tonight, so you may as well get the hell out of here. Yeah, I might be able to. <laughs> but I'm awful thirsty tonight, mister. 
Could you spare five bucks for a man who's been down on his luck? <laughs> Thank you much. <coughs> I'm going to have to go pick up some hooch. <laughs> For medicinal purposes, you know. <laughs> now, I know you ain't going to believe old Bill, because I've been telling my friends and the cops and everyone since it happened. And people just say that it's the hooch talking and nothing more. It was a monster, you see. A monster with his face all twisted and ugly, teeth longer than your finger, and these eyes... Piss yellow and full of hate. I've never seen eyes like that before. Still giving me bad dreams. He grabbed me, threw me over his shoulder, took me to the bad place, the dark place. <coughs> oh, God, the smell. Worse than anything, I... And then he bit me. My neck. Oh, God, it was horrible. Don't remember too much after that. Blacked out and woke up here in my alley. <coughs> Haven't been feeling too well since then. <coughs> Came up through the sewers, he did. Just around the corner there. <coughs> Don't want to go back to the bad place, friend. <coughs> Don't let the monster come back and take me there. Down here, did you? <clears throat> Following the smell of entrails <laughs> and rotting flesh. Looking for a free meal, little bloodsucker. There's meat galore in my kingdom. Brother Canker, they call me. High Lord in the diseased halls of the dead. Look around you. The blood. The bloated bodies. The maggot rent mortal shells. These are the signs. The coming of a new age. They are the weak, sick, hopeless. I bring them a new purpose. 
They are the vessels of darkness, carrying the diseased truth in their veins. The Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. The darkest dawn is almost upon us. Come, join us in these last nights, spreading our disease upon the Earth, sharing this unholy communion with our human heart. <sighs> the doors have been opened, the seals broken, and the final steps into the abyss, the terrible. Mysteries of the Ninth Circle. <laughs> Come, join the disciples who have gathered here, floating in their own putrescence. I will show you the mysteries of our Brotherhood as I feed on your flesh! <laughs>
Ugh, can't. Right on. Except we just did a second one over near the convention center. They're part of some doomsday cult, apparently. No telling how many there are, but it's open season on all these sick sons of bitches. 